Hi everybody, I know my hair looks stupid doesn't it? I know, I, know, I know I'm getting a bit older now so I'm beginning to go bald. Well, I've been, been going bald for a number of years. But what little hair I've got does contribute to a bit of warmth. Uh, here in the UK we call this thatch. Thatch. And it keeps your, keeps your head warm. Um, so I'm going to keep it on even though it looks stupid for the time being. I may cut it all off come the springtime perhaps. But this video is uh, to show some of my latest, my latest work, uh, to update you with a little bit of news and to say thanks to a couple of people as well. Well, yeah, two or three people. Um, what was that guy's name? Sam, that was it. So first of all, I've built three knives for a friend of mine who's a long-term subscriber to my both my channels actually on YouTube, and uh, and they asked me to build. Would, would I be? Would I take an order? I said, well, I'm not really taking orders, uh, and I I don't want to take any orders. Um, but this was an exception, so I accepted the. Uh, Kim's um, order and built him th these three knives. He wanted a, I'll just pan you down, he wanted a wasp, sorry a wisp, a wasp and a classic. So I'll pan you back up again, you can see my lovely hair, there you are, look, oh your picture. First of all <laughs> First of all, the wasp, the wisp, get it right, Jack, the wisp. So, a small little neck carry sheath. There's a tiny little knife. Don't make many of these, so it was nice. It was nice to, uh, to build one after a while. A little wisp for, for you there, Kim. Second one up is a wasp. So there's the wasp. Again, little uh, neck carry sheath. And there's the wasp. Let's get the camera to focus. There it goes. And this is uh, ringed giddy wood. If I get the light right, you can just see the rings in it. And the same that side. Ringed giddy. There you go. Uh, and lastly is um, Kim's uh, classic. The usual setup. Dangler logo on, logo on the sheath. Uh, you can see that. And there is. Let's get the camera to focus. There's the knife. There's the ringed giddy wood. Tapered tang. The camera's struggling to focus. I think the light's beginning to go a little bit. But anyway, I have done um, made I have taken some pictures, so I'll put a slideshow up of all these knives at the end so you get to see it there. There's one other knife that I've got here and this one has been built for sale on the website uh, at some point either later on today or tomorrow uh, it's a classic taper tan green liners I'll let you quickly look at it so it's a beautiful knife uh, camera focus and you can see the green liners there And this one is going to be for sale on my website later on, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I I have uh, decided probably to, I've decided probably, indecision there. I've decided that I am most probably going to close my Etsy website, my Etsy shop. Because... Um, Etsy on the whole has been a good experience for me but 
it's also uh, given me a little extra work in that I get these things called um, Etsy conversations which are basically emails and one of the reasons why I went away from taking orders and building custom orders was because of the amount of emails I used to get and it was taking me so long to administer to all the emails, paperwork and then finding all the the woods and stuff that people wanted that it, it just uh, reduced my income and put me under a lot more pressure so uh, that's the reasons why I don't take any orders um, but Etsy as I say has been on the whole a positive experience though uh, it was simply a matter of taking a few photographs and uh, uploading them to the Etsy site and Etsy done everything else um, then uh, I just had to send, send the knife off to the to the uh, purchaser. But the negative with Etsy is that it, it its costs were a little higher than I expected, and also you have to wait uh, to receive your payment, so you don't get your money for your work straight away. And um, I think that the best way forward for me to sell my knives is via my own website. Uh, and with a shopping cart on the website and my friend Rob McKenzie uh, hopefully is going to help me establish a shopping cart at some point either later on this month or early next um, I think it's a much more professional way forward it's just easier for me and easier for everyone then really uh, also some news I've got for you um, is that well? Those of you on Facebook will know about it already. That my wife Mandy has um, developed a fairly fairly serious heart condition. She's going to need um, a replacement aortic valve, uh, and there potentially something else wrong with her heart. That I'm not sure what that is yet. Uh, they they also want to. Uh, see our two children and uh, to give them um, scans to see if they've got the same defects with their heart um, so fingers crossed uh, everything will come out okay for the, for them um, I'm not sure when Mandy's going to go in for her operation she's going to Oxford which is a centre of excellence not far from where I live um, she, she's uh, these days, you know, with the advances in medical science, um, the, uh, uh, open heart surgery is sort of fairly um, straightforward now. I think, you know, they 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 they've got it sussed more or less. Although there still is an, an element of risk attached, uh, I I'm hopeful that Mandy will make a a full and complete recovery in the course of time. But at some point this year. She's obviously going to need a lot of care, and there's going to be a times when I'm not going to be able to work, work like I'd like to work. But it's a good job that I am running my own business here, because it means that I'm able to uh, to be on hand to uh, to minister to any sort of needs that she may have, so I can do the, I can care for her, and uh, and I can still um, I can still do some work and still earn some money. After all, my workshop is just out there. I'll just spin you around and then you'll be able to see it so luckily I don't have to go too far you know the rush hour traffic in the morning can be quite bad at times uh, I, I often um, I often get held up between, yeah, behind a couple of slugs and a snail and the occasional earthworm uh, I feel sorry for those of you that have got the commute to work um, especially in this weather at the moment, not very nice. A couple of thank yous. Uh, one's to Ethan and uh, Rebecca. Uh, Ethan made me this lovely uh, fishing reel and line. So that's something I'm going to be putting into my um, bushcraft kit. And to my friend Chris, uh, lives locally, built me this jig and um, he's put some nice, I don't know what that stuff's called, like nylon but very hard and it glides very well so it's basically an angle piece of aluminium for use as a grinding jig but he also milled my name 
into it too so I thought that was a lovely touch so thanks very much for that Chris I received a lovely box of elm burr from a subscriber called Sam uh, so a picture of that coming up so uh, that is just wonderful Sam thank you very much for that I'm still drying it out and um, I need to transfer some of those blocks into my uh, drying cabinet to uh, get them properly dry and then they'll be baked to get them completely 100% dry and then I'll go for the stabilising process but that takes uh, weeks to do really. Uh, I've got some lovely uh, bird's eye maple for future knife builds, this also needs to be um, stabilised uh, before I can use that on, on knife builds. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, start the next batch of knives next week. These are probably going to be th uh, three mil thick uh, classics. Uh, I've got them in batches of four. When they're ready, um, they will uh, all be available on the website. Uh, so everybody, that's it for now. Uh, just a short video. Of this. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and uh, look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.